Hey guys, I'm the NFL Act, and welcome back to the NFL Beans. This is episode number 42 of the NFL Beans, which is my NFL news show where I spill the beans on what's going on around the NFL. First thing, as you see in the thumbnail and the title, is that the Giants have signed tight end Kyle Rudolph to a two-year $14 million deal. He was released by the Vikings a couple weeks ago, and now the Giants have picked him up, just giving Daniel Jones some more weapons as he heads into probably the most testing year of his career. As you know, this is probably one of the last years that he's going to be their uncontested starter, because next year... If he continues playing the way he has been, I wouldn't be surprised if they get some competition for him. The Bears are releasing cornerback Kyle Fuller, which saves them 11 million bucks. I have mixed feelings about this because on one hand, it does save them a million, 11 million dollars, um, but at the same time, he was a pretty uh, not he wasn't like a massive part, but he was a really good cornerback, and their defense was the main thing that was you know keeping them afloat and helped them get into the postseason. And the fact that they're cutting a pretty big part of that, I just don't know how I feel about it. The Raiders have signed running back Kenyon Drake to a two-year $15 million deal. Probably going to sit behind Josh Jacobs, who's had a pretty good first two years, um, and now they've got a pretty good two-headed monster back there at running back. The Chargers have signed tight end Jared Cook, former Saint, to a $6 million one-year deal. They're probably replacing Hunter Henry, who just uh, went to the Patriots. So um, I, I like this. Jared Cook is a pretty good tight end. Couldn't stay on the uh, Saints because the Saints are having a lot of difficulties with money right now, so they couldn't retain him. But uh, the Chargers picked him up. The Washington football team has signed wide receiver Curtis Samuel to a three-year, $34 million deal. And this is a really good deal, a really good signing in my opinion, because now they actually have a pretty good wide receiver. And before that, it was they've got Terry McLaurin, who was a really good wide receiver, Nobody else. Now they've got Terry McLaurin and Curtis Samuel. And given Curtis Samuel isn't like a superstar, amazing receiver, but he had a lot of really good plays last year. I definitely think he will be a pretty good playmaker for Washington. And Washington is starting to look a, a bit dangerous. I mean, next year, if they can get a good quarterback, I know Ryan Fitzpatrick is pretty good, but he's not their future. If they can get a really good quarterback next year, they could be a, a contender within 2022. Um, some, just some bullet points here. The Browns have signed quarterback Troy Hill to a four-year, $24 million deal. This offseason for the Browns has been all about that secondary, and I like it. The, the Bills have signed Mitch Trubisky to a one-year, $3 million deal. I um, feel kind of bad for the guy. He had a pretty good season, and then it all went downhill from there. And He's probably going to be a backup for the rest of his career unless he can pull a Ryan Tannehill revival or something. And the Dolphins have signed wide receiver Will Fuller to a one-year, $11 million deal. Um... So yeah, now the Texans have nobody except for <laughs> except for the John Watson, who um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna trade now that they signed um, a new backup. Well, I, I've already forgot his name, but. Uh Thank you so much for watching the NFL Means number 42. Surprisingly, we didn't actually have that much to talk about normally uh, these days now that free agency is kind of going crazy. We have so much to talk about. But today wasn't that case. So, um, yeah, you get a pretty short episode. Uh, this is the NFL Means episode number 42. I hope to see you in episode number 43. Goodbye.